Hi guys, this is Evan. Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about the first principles of AI. To save your time, there will be four parts that we will be covering. The first is, what are first principles? This may be your, the first time that you hear about this concept. So I will give you a brief introduction to make you fully understand the basic essence of first principles. Then the third one. Uh, do first principles exist in AI? You know, not many fields or industries have uh, first principles. So we must figure out whether first principles exist in AI. Mm, if the answer is yes, then the third one. I will give you my understanding about what the foundational principles of AI might be. Finally, the last one. What can we learn from this? We will discuss the practical insights and lessons that we can take away for understanding the first principles of AI. So let's get started. I guess that if you heard about the first principles before, you probably hear from Elon Musk, right? Well, in one of his interviews, he said, first principles is a physics way of looking at the world. It boils things down to the most fundamental truths and then read up from there. So what does that mean? Well, um, instead of relying on what others have done or what seems popular, we should dig deep to understand the most basic truths of a problem. So once we have that uh, most fundamental truths, we can build our understanding and solutions from the ground up. For example, when Elon was working on SpaceX, he didn't just accept the high cost of the rocket. So he break down the problem to its basic components and asked what are raw materials needed to build a rocket. By understanding the most basic elements, he found ways to make rockets much cheaper. After discussing Elon's approach to first principles, let's just take a step back in history. Mm. The concept of first principles was first introduced by Aristotle, who is an ancient Greek philosopher. Aristotle is considered one of the greatest thinkers in history, and he's famous for his wisdom on so many areas, including the philosophy and science. Aristotle defined the first principles as the basic uh, foundational propositions or assumptions that cannot be deduced from other propositions or assumptions. Well, that might sound a little bit uh, abstract, right? So, in simple terms, it is the first basis from which a thing is known. It is the basic foundational self-evident truth. Aristotle believed that the first principles uh, are the most basic building blocks of knowledge. They are the starting points from which we can develop our first understanding and reasoning. So, um, when we talk about the first principles, we are talking about looking beyond the surface, beyond the assumptions, and getting the very core of an issue. By doing this, that we can gain a, a deeper and a clearer understanding, which can lead to more innovative and effective solutions. Philosophy can sometimes be quite abstract. So let me give you a more concrete examples from mathematics. In Euclidean geometry, there are five main axioms. These axioms form the foundation of uh, the Euclidean geometry. For example, they said a straight line can be drawn between any two points um, or the first one, all right angles are equal. These axioms are taken as self-evident truths and from them, the other uh, the geometric principles and the theorems are derived. So they provide a solid foundation upon which the entire structure of Euclidean geometry is built. So axioms are very important because they provide 
a common ground from which other mathematicians can build their understanding and reasoning or build their arguments. Without axioms, it will be very difficult to have a consistent and reliable mathematics system. We've already discussed how Elon Musk and Aristotle have emphasized the importance of first principles. And we've also looked at how first principles apply in mathematics. So now let's just summarize the essence of the first principles, which is the deductive reasoning in logic. Let's move on to our second part. Do first principles exist in AI? Mm. According to our earlier definition, the essence of first principles lies in deductive reasoning in logical. So if AI has first principles, does it mean that the AI should develop through the deductive reasoning? So let's step back to the history of development of AI. The development of AI has come through the phases uh, inspired by both logic and biology. Initially, AI was heavily based on logic rules and reasoning, uh, known as symbolic AI. This method used the clear and explicit rules to make decisions. For example, like, if you want me to buy an apple, I will buy an apple. That's very easy and very explicit. But however, um, this method had limitations in dealing with the real-world complexities. Over time, AI development shifted towards biological inspiration, particularly neural networks. Neural networks mimic the way that our human brain works, allowing AI to learn from the data and improve over time. This approach uses inductive reasoning, where AI learns from specific examples and data to generalize and make predictions. This has led to significant advancement in AI capabilities, making it more flexible and powerful in heading complex tasks. So today, neural networks and machine learning are at the forefront of the AI knowledge. So we see that at least for now, most AI does not rely solely on deductive reasoning. Instead, it often uses uh, inductive reasoning. But even so, we cannot say that AI does not have the first principles. <laughs> I guess that you may be confused, right? Mm, well, hold on. Let's look at the Godel's incompetence theorems. Godel's incompetence theorems are very fundamental in understanding the limits of formal systems. Godel showed that in any sufficiently logical, powerful system, it is impossible to achieve both uh, completeness and consistency simultaneously. You may notice that there are two main keywords, completeness and consistency. Well, completeness ensures that all true statements can be proven within the system. This makes the system comprehensively useful. And consistency ensures that no any other contradictions can be derived within the system. This is crucial for a system to be reliable and effective. In simple terms, Godel believed that a system cannot be entirely both complete and consistent. For example, if you want a system to be uh, reliable, it cannot be able to approve all truth and vice versa. So this principle also applies to AI. According to Guru's conclusions, AI cannot be both complete and consistent. What I say next is very important. Completeness can be understood as inductive reasoning, while uh, consistency can be understood as deductive reasoning. So in other words, AI can use both inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. Ultimately, the presence of deductive reasoning here indicates that AI does have first principles. Additionally, AI's use of inductive reasoning involves parameter tuning and optimization. 
Therefore, we can conclude that S first principles are closely related to optimization. Since we acknowledge that AI has first principles, so what exactly are they? In my understanding, the principles that best represent AI's first principles is the principle of least action. You may say, oh, seven, least action. That does not sound fancy. So what is the uh, principle of least action? Well, the principle of least action is a fundamental concept in physics. It states that the path taken by a system between two states is the one for which the action is minimized. In simple terms, it means that the nature always chooses the path of least resistance or the most efficient route. Action in this context is a quantity that depends on the dynamics of the system, including factors like energy and time. So the principle is widely used in classic mechanics, quantum mechanics, and even general relativity. So this is a very uh, powerful tool for us to understand the natural phenomena. Then you may ask me why the principle of this action can be viewed as as first principle. Well, let me give you three main reasons. The first is optimizations. In AI, particularly in neural networks and machine learning, the goal is to optimize models to minimize errors. This is similar to the principle of least actions, so where the system always seeks the path to minimize the effort and the cost. The second is efficiency. AI systems like uh, natural pulses always aim to find the most efficient solutions. This means minimizing uh, complexities and maximizing performance. You see, uh, it's aligning with the uh, principle of least action. The third one, adaptability. The principle of least actions always allows the system to find the most efficient path. Similarly, AI also learn and adjust to improve the, the performance, reflecting the same adaptability. Therefore, we can conclude that the principle of least action is not a very powerful concept in physics, but also serves as a very foundational concept in AI. It encapsulates the essence of AI's goal to optimize, adapt, and efficiently solve the complex problems. So, after exploring the concept of first principles and understanding their presence in AI, identifying the principle of this action as the foundational element, what can we learn from this? Well, let me share four lessons from my side. The first is the power of the first principle thinking. The first principle thinking encourages us to break down the problems to its the most basic elements. By doing this, then we can gain a clear understanding in, and find innovative solutions that others might overlook. This method is not just used for AI, but it can be applied to many fields and every life challenges. Whether you are working on a scientific program, a business strategy, or a personal development, starting from first principles thinking help you to find an innovative and efficient solution. The second is the importance of optimization. The principle of this action highlights the significance of optimization. In AI, Optimization help us create the models not only accurate but also efficient. The principle can be applied to other areas as well. For instance, optimizing process in business can lead to a better performance and cost savings. In personal life, optimizing our time and resources can lead to a better productivity and satisfaction. The third is embracing adaptability. Just like AI systems adjust and improve through learning, 
we can also embrace adaptability in our lives. For example, the ability to learn from uh, experience, adjust to new information, and continuous learning is essential for success in a rapidly changing world. So whether it's adopting new technologies, it is essential to nurture, to adapt to the changes in the environment, and to stay flexible and be open to change. The last one, balancing the completeness and consistency. The mindset is a real nuclear weapon. Goto reminds us that no systems can be both entirely complete and consistent. You cannot get all. The balance is important not only in AI but also many other areas. For instance, in decision making, understanding the limitations of your systems and approaches can help you to make better decisions and avoid potential pitfalls. In summary, the first principle thinking, optimization, adaptability, and balancing the completeness with consistency are valuable lessons that we can draw from AI and apply to various aspects of our daily life. By integrating these principles into our approaches, that we can become more innovative, efficient, adaptable, and better equipped to tackle the challenges of our modern world. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.